Contrary to what you see on TV and in the movies, attorney-client privilege doesn't depend on slipping the attorney a dollar. An attorney-client relationship can exist even without payment and even without the attorney believing that the relationship exists. The critical factor is the putative client's belief that a relationship exists. However, as seen in NRA Grand Jury Subpoena under SEAL, a client's belief must be both sincere and objectively reasonable. AOL conducted an internal investigation of its relationship with Purchase Pro. AOL retained the law firm of Wilmer, Cutler, and Pickering. Attorneys from the firm, along with AOL's general counsel, separately interviewed three employees, Kent Wakeford, John Doe 1, and John Doe 2. Prior to the interviews, the attorneys informed the employees that they represented the company. They explained that the conversations were privileged, but that the privilege belonged to the company, which could waive it. The attorneys told Wakeford that they could represent him if no conflict existed. They told John Doe's 1 and 2 that they, quote, can represent you, unquote, unless a conflict appeared. The Securities and Exchange Commission then began an investigation of AOL's relationship with Purchase Pro. AOL and Wakeford, represented by his own attorney, entered a common interest agreement. The parties acknowledged that their clients had common interests and that sharing certain documents would be mutually beneficial. The agreement stated that disclosure of such documents wouldn't constitute a waiver of any privilege. A grand jury issued a subpoena requiring AOL to provide records of its interviews with the employees. AOL agreed to waive the attorney-client privilege and produce the documents, but the employees objected and sought to quash the subpoenas. All three employees asserted attorney-client privilege. Wakeford also argued that the requested information was privileged under the Common Interest Doctrine. The district court denied the motions to quash based on attorney-client privilege. It initially granted Wakeford's motion based on common interest, but later reversed because Wakeford's agreement with AOL postdated the interviews. The employees appealed to the Fourth Circuit.